Hi, this is Chet Chiso from DogsHaveRights.com and in this video I would like to share with you a sad story that I read uh, two days ago. This is in the Star newspapers. Good homes sought for puppies. Okay, this is the story about Helen and Keller. Okay, let me read a bit from here. According to this person, they recently received 15 puppies, that is one pie here, from Seremban which had, which had been placed in a small cage and box and sent by taxi to one of its clinics in Klang. So it's from Seremban to Klang. It takes about two to three hours here. Yeah? Okay. The taxi driver had placed the cage and box in the boot and the puppies had really suffered and had become weak due to the heat. We lost four of the puppies, which never recovered from their ordeal since they, they were sent to us in April. Okay, so it's really sad when I read about this. Okay, because this taxi driver put these puppies in the boot for two to three hours. But the, the, the thing is, at first, oh, I thought maybe it's just maybe because it's a taxi driver. You no, know, he doesn't know better. But then again, this reminds me of uh, this one time when I was in Penang. I went to the vet and I saw the pain. And I saw uh, these two women, or shall we call them, or, or creatures, okay? They look like they are educated, okay? They drove a nice car, but then when they left, they put their dog in the boot. Okay, so it doesn't really matter whether you 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 didn't go to secondary school or you no know, you uh, you went all the way up to university. You know, if you don't have common sense, these things still happen. This is where we need to create awareness. Where you know you you people should know this. You cannot put any living things yeah, like cats or animals or birds in the boot okay so these are the things that we need to create awareness don't put your dogs or anything in the boot okay so i guess that's it